People in Crisp County say that the crime has risen here, but they were still shocked of the shooting death of a deputy. The Georgia Bureau of Investigation says at 3.40 Wednesday morning, Brown went to check on a truck parked in the middle of Highway 280. The car had come in stolen. And when Brown went to check in on the car, the GBI says the driver, 25-year-old Krishan Cross, shot Brown and fled the scene in the deputy's patrol car. The ambulances were coming down the road, all and tail that way, and I knew something bad had happened. Barbara McLeod says when she heard of Brown's death, she couldn't believe it. Doing his job and got shot. Expecting to go home to his family. He won't be going home to his family. McLeod says this violence is reflective of the rising crime in Cordell. The gun violence, the drugs, I don't feel safe. No, I don't. I mean, it's just sad. That ain't the way it's supposed to end. Former County Commissioner Wallace Mathis says he heard about the shooting this morning. And I've heard this morning he was, you know, really detail oriented and was looking forward to a career in law enforcement, and it's just sad. The Sheriff's Office says they've received outpouring love from the community as people and surrounding law enforcement agencies gathered to pay respects to Brown. A deputy, a son, a grandson, a loved one, a friend. While these are all titles that describe Deputy Ty Brown, hero is the title that we bestow upon him today. Sheriff Billy Hancock says Brown has been patrolling for less than a year. A Forsyth native and a veteran, Hancock says Brown was a great guy and worker, and his death is a loss. He will forever remain in our hearts and our minds, inspiring us to serve our community with the same dedication and integrity and compassion that he had. Hancock says Deputy Brown did everything he was supposed to do at this morning's stop. In Cordell, Jessica Chaw, 13 WMAC News.